Hi guys, I'm Natasha and I just spent um, an enormous amount at Trader Joe's, $223. I'm like hidden behind these two massive bags. Um, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. That helps me out so much. Um, you have no idea what that means to me. And I got a bunch of the new items today, so I'm really excited to go through them. And I already started sampling one in the car. So uh, let's jump on in. Okay, this is brand new and I actually didn't get this in this haul. I just got it this past weekend. Um, it's the Seabreeze Castile Hand Soap. So I don't know how I'm gonna sample this. I'm gonna give it a sniff and then I'll make a real washing my hands. How fun does that sound? Oh, that smells really nice. This would be really, you can put this in the kitchen, you can put this in the bathroom, wherever you want. I like that it's like, I just like the branding on it. It reminds me of like an old school soap that my dad had in his house, but it smells really, really fresh. Oh, I got some on my finger, so. Yeah, super fresh. I would say it kind of smells citrusy. But some people think that's what the ocean smells like, citrusy, which I just started bodyboarding yesterday. Simon and I went, he used to bodyboard all the time. So I had a bodyboard, but I got fins and I went swimming yesterday in the ocean and caught some waves. And like, why do people need to be surfers? Like, that's pretty hard. Just like have fun in the water, go body surfing. Okay, I have a lot of plants and I didn't need this one, but look at the base it came in. Look at, and like the, the colors are so pretty on it. So I bought another plant. I just have to figure out where to put it. And it's sunny out today finally in LA. So there's a joke that LA was becoming new Seattle because we like have not seen the sun and we've just had a lot of rain. And now the sun's out. So I'm happy, I'm a happy person. I definitely have sad, that seasonal affective disorder. I started crying at dinner the other night because I was just like emotionless because I needed the sunshine and now it's out and I literally feel like a different person. It's crazy. The gluten-free strawberry muffins are amazing. I think I've bought these every week since they came out. I keep them in the fridge. I find that like keeping cookies, pastries, things in the fridge just helps them last longer. So unless you're gonna eat a pastry that day, keep it in the fridge. And then what we've been doing, um, which I'll show you guys, this bag is from Costco. Who is the newest Costco member? I joined Costco. Um, which I was a member years ago and then I wasn't and I'm back, but like they gave me this big bag for joining. It's massive. Um, but I'm going to jump into the Costco thing in a second. Why was I talking about that? Oh, cause we got croissants. Simon bought the biggest container of croissants and he's keeping some in the freezer and he takes them out the night before when he wants to use them to make sandwiches. So anyways, keep your muffins in the fridge. That was a long way of saying that. Um, I picked up some tea for at nighttime. I, I picked up some organic blood orange and then it's a, it's a rooibos, R-O-O-I-B-O-S, rooibos, rooibos, a rooibos. You guys will correct me, I know you will. And then a chamomile tea, both of them were organic. I always go for organic teas when I can because if you think about a tea leaf, you want it to like not be sprayed with like pesticides and things. Um, so then I picked up some gluten-free tortillas. I just use these all the time. I actually made a breakfast sandwich, like crunch wrap thing out of it this weekend. Not, what, that wasn't my plan, but I didn't have any um, like English muffins. So I used, I like to buy like the just egg and I like put bacon and some mayo and some bomba sauce and just crunch wrapped it. And it worked, it was really good. I picked up some quinoa, I'm back on a quinoa kick. And what I'm gonna try to do is you can cook quinoa so it's one part quinoa to two parts water. So what I wanna do to amp my quinoa up with even more protein is I'm gonna add some beef broth to it. So I'm gonna do one part quinoa, one part beef broth and one part water. And I'll see how that goes and how it tastes, but I'm pretty sure it'll work. Um, I'd like to report back that my homemade cold brew is phenomenal. I think it stacks up to the $7 cold brews that I can get around LA. Um, and I like I just like making it at home. It's it's so much easier to make. I still don't understand why it's so expensive when you go to a coffee shop, um, but it's it's delicious. So now I'm excited to try different new coffees. So I picked up their Honduras Calibri Esmeralda Small Lot Coffee. Yep, this is gonna be good. So I just, all it is is I bought this cold brew maker, which you don't technically need, but it makes cleanup easier. Um, coarsely ground your beans, about 130 grams. I use a like little scale that I have. 130 grams and then you just pour water, like I think it's, how many ounces? Like 40 ounces of water, I might have that wrong. And then you stick it in the fridge and then you strain it in the morning and you're good to go. 
it's good stuff guys um i'm gonna go through a couple more things and then i'll pull out some new items which i'm excited to pull out and if you're watching this on youtube please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel that helps me out a lot um these are ciabatta demi baguettes now i'm not entirely sure if they've had these for a long time because i don't eat gluten but simon does and he wanted me to pick up some rolls for his sandwiches and these just look perfect like one sandwich because he's a big guy six four this is like a foot long sub at subway um so you could just cut it down the middle build your sandwich these would be great for a picnic and i like that they come in these custom baguettes so you can also heat these up if you want them a bit toasted or you can have them straight out of the bag i think that's a really good find especially for summer and picnics Simon also requested I pick him up some of these Aussie style chocolate cream sandwich cookies. And if you want to see our review of these, you can visit my website, website traderjoseless.com and type in Aussie style cookie and you can see my actual review of these with Simon. Um, he bit the ends off and he drank milk out of them. I guess that's what you do with them. Pop-up sponges, one of the greatest things at Trader Joe's, 12 sponges. So each one of these, let me show you. You're, you'll look at it and you'll be like, what is this? Just put a cup of water on the sink and just fill a cup of water up from the sink and then just put a sponge in and it expands. And then these sponges are great. I use, I use one every couple, I don't know. Like realistically, I wanna be like, I always have a clean sponge, but no, sometimes I'm like, ew, my sponge stinks. And there's nothing worse than a stinky sponge, like especially when that stinky smell gets on your hands. Oh, it's gross. Um, so I like these because they're quick, they're easy, and it's a great price. It's $8.99 for 12, so they're less than a dollar each. You can easily have a nice fresh sponge whenever you want. These things are great. Um, I picked up some more face wash. We have um, a, like a little shower right off the garage, so now that we've been bodyboarding, um, we're using that shower a lot more because you don't wanna like track all the sand up everywhere. You would like to keep it inside its own little sandy perimeter. So I just got one of these um, all-in-one facial cleansers to put down in that shower and then one for upstairs. It's one of my favorite cleansers. It's super gentle and light and if you have to wash your face a couple of times a day, you don't wanna keep stripping, stripping, stripping it. And this I just find is, is really gentle. One of my favorite chocolates at Trader Joe's, it's, which I'm a dark chocolate girl, but I love this oat chocolate bar with crispy rice and cacao nibs. And I'm pretty sure that Simon does too because they keep going missing, but I'm gonna have a little piece right now just cause it's lunchtime and I'm someone that would eat chocolate for lunch. I really truly am. Let's see if I can get them out. It comes with three bars. Let's see, in each little box there's three bars, which I like cause it kind of helps you not overdo it. My mouth's already watering, but it has the perfect blend of crunch. It's like, it reminds me of like a crunch bar from back in the day. So you can see all the little crunchy nibs and then it's salty and just, Mm. You could ASMR this bar all day. Take a bite, hear it crack. It's so yummy. Mm. So now I have six mini bars. These are really, really good. And the ingredients are not terrible. Just sugar is the first ingredient. Here for that. Cacao butter, ground oats, ground oats, unsweetened chocolate, puffed rice, cacao nibs, rice syrup, sea salt, natural vanilla flavor. Mmm. Love it. No, I have to chew it. Um, I'm also excited. Well, okay. I got three boxes of these. The peanut butter crispy rice bites. One, two, three. Everyone and their mom has texted me a photo of these and said, these are incredible. <laughs> but I bought three boxes because um, Simon works at True Spec, which is high-end golf club fitting. So if there's any golfers in your family that likes to like, go golfing and they want to get new clubs, if there's a true spec near them, that's where I'd recommend them to go. Especially if they're a bit seasoned in golfing and like ready to take their game to the next level. But Simon works there and so he set some of these out in like a little bowl and like they were gone in like two days from people coming in. Cause they swing for like an hour up to three and a half, four hours fitting clubs and they get hungry and like, why not give them, let me show you how cool these are. Um, you have to see they come in little individual <laughs> individual bites and each one says something different. Like this says, is peanutty a word? What's this one say? Crispy rice is beautiful. Um, they all say different little things on them. So they're super cute. Great for scenarios like what I just described. More bone broth for the quinoa. Um, I picked up some stuff for Simon. I got him the daily facial sunscreen. He loves this stuff. 
he slathers it all over him. Like, he really likes it. Yesterday, he was like, hey, will you grab the sunblock? So I grabbed the sunblock. And he was like, no, I want that Trader Joe's one that makes my skin really soft. And I was like, are you serious? So, like, he went all the way upstairs, had to go get this one because he wanted this specific sunblock. So I picked him up some more because literally I can see it. His, um, this is his other one. It's, like, so empty. So I'm sure he'll be happy to see that he has a new one. And he's also a big fan of the Hyaluronic Moisture Boost Serum. I got him using this and he absolutely loves it. He also sent one to his brother James over in the UK. And James works in a pottery studio. He's now like the head of the pottery studio. And he's been getting compliments on how good his skin looks. And I don't know, I think men need to take care of their skin just as much as women. And like when a guy starts taking care of their skin, I feel like it just, it glows. It's their, their own glow up. So glow up the guys in your life. <laughs> <laughs> with the Hyaluronic Moisture Boost Serum. I think it's a nice baby step for men to like, just get a little, little extra hydration. You do see a difference. Hydrate and then a little bit of the, the sunblock and you're good to go. Oh, this is brand new, I'm excited. Chunky garlic and jalapeno hot sauce. Yummy. The, the benefit to me doing what I do is like, I can just sample things and then have dragon breath where every time Simon's like, oh, should I take these leftovers to work? He's like, does it have garlic in it? <laughs> Because he has to speak to people and like, garlic tastes good, but not the best on the breath. Not the best. It tends to go with most things that taste good. Okay. What does that smell like? Ugh. Oh my gosh, I know exactly what it smells like. You guys are gonna laugh. Okay, let me get a spoon. This smells like Taco Bell hot sauce. And last week we tried the Gouda cheese, the taco Gouda cheese. And this smells just like Taco Bell hot sauce. Remember the car cheese? Okay. There's a reel for that if you haven't seen it. Mmm. It's a bit chunkier. Like Taco Bell hot sauce isn't chunky. It smells more like Taco Bell hot sauce. It's much spicier than Taco Bell hot sauce. Let me tell you, this is spicy. If you like spicy, you'll like this. Yum. Um, you, it literal, literal chunks of garlic in it. Brine jalapeno pepper, jalapeno, or that's jalapeno peppers, water, seasoning, dried garlic, dried, dried onion, dried minced garlic, olive oil, xanthan gum, um, which is a thickener. Funny, funny thing is that I just had chocolate, so now I have chocolate hot sauce in my mouth, which is an interesting flavor. It's kind of like mole. <laughs> um, I picked up some Go Macro bars. These just save us in moments of hunger. We just Keep them in the fridge, um, not in the fridge, in the pantry. Um, vegan A's for Simon sandwiches, for the ciabatta rolls. Hearts of Palm, I talk about these every single week. So I feel like I go through a can a week with my salads. They're just great, yummy, and uh, I think $2.99 at Trader Joe's, great value. And I put a spoon in the bag just so I would remember we have to sample the brand new ice cream. What's in the freezer? So I'm gonna get it out. One minute. I may have already taken a bite of this in the car. Car ice cream. So this is the brand new S'mores ice cream. Graham cracker flavored ice cream with marshmallow and chocolatey swirls. It does contain milk, egg, and wheat. And let's see where the, where does the wheat show up in this? Milk, cane sugar, dun 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 dun. dun. Graham, cracker, graham cracker flavored base, that's, that's in it, okay. So I'm just gonna have a small little nib because I can't really have wheat. Gluten allergy doesn't go well with me. So it looks like this. Um, I thought there was gonna be like more chunks in it, but it's more of like um, a creamy ice cream with like swirls of chocolate. So the graham cracker is like the flavor of the ice cream. It's not actually like chunks of graham cracker. But I will say, mm, if you like the flavor of marshmallow, this has like a very marshmallowy flavor. Mmm, that's good. I don't know if I would say, like if I didn't know this was s'mores, I wouldn't take a bite and be like, oh, s'mores. But I would say marshmallow, caramel, chocolate. That's what I would get from it because there's a chocolate swirl. Mm. But it's really, really good. Another ice cream to add to your ice cream list at Trader Joe's. Um, if I could go in the hierarchy of favorite ice creams at Trader Joe's, I would have to say, I really like the strawberry, the oat, strawberry oats really good. The new chocolate, gold, chocolate, the gold, golden swirl, whatever it was I sampled last week, that one's really good. 
horchata ice cream, amazing. Yuzu Ripple, amazing. I mean, Trader Joe's does ice creams, right? They have limited ice cream bin space, so if an ice cream makes it to that, you know it's gonna be good. And I'm gonna just pop this back in the freezer so I don't forget. We don't want that melting. Nothing like melted ice cream. Okay, and this is the biggest bag from Costco. So I'm a Costco member, and if you're not following my YouTube channel, um, I will be doing Costco hauls. I love that place, and to tell you the truth, you don't need a member. If you're into cold plunging, you don't need to get a cold plunge. Just join Costco and go to the produce section. It is 37 degrees. I walked around that thing for two minutes the other day and was so cold. And I've done cold plunges and I thought, oh my gosh, it's the same thing. Now I'll just go to Costco, maybe in like a t-shirt and shorts and just stand there and freeze and then come out. Same thing. Deliberate cold exposure. Um, patio potato chips. Love these. It's really cute. So I don't know if, if your partners or friends or anyone does this, but Simon's really cute. Whenever we get a bag of chips, what he does is he doesn't like to have to reach in. So he will cut the bag. So like, well right now, yeah. So he'll, he would cut the bag at the chip level and then you eat down and then you fold it over. So I like can tell where we at we are at in a stage of bags because he just constantly cuts them down. I've never seen anyone do that and I think it's cute. But this is a good one. This is the delicious dill. But if you haven't had patio potato chips, four different types of chips in one. Delicious dill, barbecue, sea salt, and vinegar, and home salt ketchup. Honestly, the flavor kind of like blends all over all of them. But some of them you're like, ooh, this one's gonna be more dill, this one's more ketchup, this one's more barbecue, but mm, really good. Ooh, this would be good to have right now. I was excited. Um, so Pulp Culture, this is a fermented drink, fermented juice drink, which I've talked about the last couple weeks, um, but it was sold out. So like you couldn't find it. And I have some at my house because I invested in the company, but Trader Joe's, um, I didn't have any relax. I only had play and hustle, but then Trader Joe's just got another stock in. So relax, and Simon and I decided last night relax is our favorite. And what makes it special is it's zero grams of sugar and it's just fermented juices. They don't add anything else. And each can, it's just 100 calories, 4.9% alcohol, so you've gotta be 21 or older to drink it. And they put um, super mushrooms, so adaptogens and superfoods in it. So it's like a, alcohol can't be healthy, but it's a, in my eyes, it's a healthier option. Um, and they're really nice. I just, we, I like to put it over ice and it feels fancy and just sip it at night and watch Succession because I'm getting caught up on it. Um, I also got play. Oh no, I got hustle. Picked up hustle. That one's really good. Passion fruit, strawberry, ginger, turmeric, lion's mane. Yummy. Mm. Some kale for my salad. That's what I'm gonna make for lunch. I picked up a green bell pepper and a red bell pepper. I really wanna make a pasta salad. Like that is one of my favorite things to have during the summer and just all the time. Cause it's just, like you get a fun twirly pasta and then I'll add in red bell pepper, green bell pepper, a little bit of um, some, like salami, um, black olives, and then you put like olive oil, a little bit of garlic, mm, pepper, salt, so, so good. Picked up some tomatoes. Oh geez, I should have put these in the fridge. Oat bars, non-dairy frozen goods. I love these things. They're absolutely delicious and they're vegan. It literally tastes like hot chocolate, but frozen, and thank you. It's delicious. Oh, there's a new item in here I'm excited to show you. Ooh, two new items. Um, organic zucchinis, just need those for the week. Some mushrooms for the week. I'm back to buying raspberries, I guess, because here I am, but like, the top ones look squished. I'm gonna move those. That one's squished right there. Should probably clean this off, but I'm not going to. Mm. I think there's some like hacks online on how to wash your berries so they last. I've never done it. I need to try it. Something about washing them in vinegar and something else. I just find berries like go bad once you get them wet, even if you dry them. But they go bad regardless. I picked up two lemons, two limes. I just use those during the week. Um, some jicama wraps. I made some really good um, carnita tacos with these last week and I have some leftover, so I just needed more jicama wraps. Simon asked for a cucumber, so I got him the biggest one I could find. Um, he also asked for some sandwich meat, so I got him the uncured Black Forest ham, 
We also have some turkey in the fridge, so you can use both of those for ciabatta sandwiches. Um, I got a big head of cauliflower rice. I made um, some food at my friend's this weekend and we added in like, I got to her house and she had already riced the cauliflower in her food processor. I was like, oh, why don't I ever do that? So I'm gonna do that this week. Um, and then I picked up this. This is new and there's still a new item in there, which I'm excited to show you. Let me move the, the pulp culture over. This is fresh mozzarella cheese pearls. So as you can see, it looks like a ball, but it's actually made up of tiny little mozzarella bits. Let me see if I can open this. I love mozzarella cheese. And it's actually not that hard to make at home. I was looking at these little like kits online because I want to try making cheese. Okay, can I get this open? There's like a little tiny lip. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this open. Let me see if I get a knife. Here we go, we got a little knife right here. All my knives need to get sharpened. They're just not as sharp as they once were. So, okay. I'm gonna have to, oh, this is cool. So it's like these little tiny balls all in one. I'm just gonna pull a little ball off. Oh, fun, look it. They like break off, little tiny, mm. This would be so good for a picnic. It is amazing how much happier I am when the sun is out. I think I'm, I'm like wired that way. So I grew up in a place that was very sunny, Bakersfield, California. This is so good. Oh my gosh. The little nibs make it so addicting. I'm gonna have to make some content with this, guys. It's too cute and too yummy. Okay, one more. All right, um, some oat milk. And then the last item, last but not least, um, lychees, lychees. How do you say this? Apparently you can say it different ways depending on where you're from. These are delicious. We got one this weekend. Um, so Simon was riding his bike and it was going clink, 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 clink. And one of the spokes had broken and it was scratching his bike. So we were near Trader Joe's and I said, I'll run in and see if I can get some stickers just to put on the end of it so it didn't scratch his bike so we could walk it home. We got some scotch tape. It was a, it worked. But while I was in there, I saw these. So I had to pick some up and we ate the whole entire box of them. I'm about to sneeze from the cheese. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I think I made it without sneezing. Um, so to open these, they're firm and kind of prickly on the outside. You can just put your nail into it and then you just peel it. And based off the comments on the reel that I made, people are saying you can freeze them and then just whap it and it comes off. I haven't tried any of those ways to open it. I've only done it this way. Um, and it, it has a texture of like a thick grape and the flavor is similar to a grape, but a little bit more like exotic tasting. Like, I don't know, if you mix like a grape with like a little bit of citrus maybe, that's how I would describe it. They're sweet, they're really nice. Um, and there's a pit in them and the pits vary in size from big to small. Mm. Oh, this is a big pit, you can see it. Big pit. Mm. Oh, they're so good. A lot of places you go to, you can find like lychee, lychee martinis. Mm. I think they're fun because you kind of have to work for it. It's not just something you can, like a grape, you can just literally pop in your mouth and then like, that's it. Um, so I got all this, it came out to like $224 for all of this. <laughs> no way I have spirit hands. Um, and yeah, things, you know, the there's some expensive things I got, like the plant was a bit more expensive. Um, the pulp culture is $12.99 for four, which is way cheaper than going out and getting a drink. Um, so there's a couple things that are like higher price tags which drive the price up. Um, but relatively speaking, Trader Joe's is still really cheap, not as cheap as Costco, but Costco you have to buy in bulk, so you gotta be careful with what you buy. A bag of spinach is a good idea to buy from Costco because spinach shrinks. Um, so anyways. That's this week's haul. Let me know uh, which item you're most excited about. And I'll see you guys later this week. Have a good one.